So the Democratic debate from Brooklyn, New York, finally happened tonight, and boy, did it not disappoint. Bernie Sanders came out swinging on all cylinders. Now, from the beginning, when I first started doing these political videos, I made that disclosure that I am a Hillary Clinton supporter, but at the same time, I'm also able to view these debates as an objective Democratic voter, and there is no way anybody can say that Bernie Sanders did not destroy Hillary Clinton on virtually every topic that was posed, possibly with the exception of the gun question, which I think that Hillary did a really good job of. She uh, attacked Bernie Sanders on that. But with the exception of that, I mean, Hillary Clinton was destroyed by Bernie Sanders on every issue from NAFTA, TPP, to fracking, to Wall Street corporate interests, to the qualifications thing that Bernie Sanders brought up uh, the other day, and uh, the 1994 crime bill that she supported, the super predator term. I thought Bernie did a great job on all of those things attacking Hillary on. And now, you could obviously see if you're watching this, that Hillary Clinton was definitely trying to wait out her time uh, until the New York primary. She's sitting on a pretty decent lead, doesn't want to say anything to hurt her already low turnout uh, percentage with millennials and uh, you know white males, things like that. She didn't want to attack Bernie too much, and you could tell, but Bernie did not hesitate in attacking her. Uh, throughout the night, she oftentimes tried to hide behind President Obama, really when she couldn't offer any depth on an issue that perhaps Bernie was attacking her on, such as Wall Street, why is she taking so much money from Wall Street, releasing transcripts, things like that. Uh, the Not the Iraq war vote, but uh, Libya and Syria, her, her State Department's uh, policy towards those nations and the overthrow of uh, Gaddafi and things like that. She just tried to hide behind Obama for the majority of the night when it came to those foreign policy issues. But Bernie Sanders was not buying it. He found a way around it for the majority of the night. He even called her out on it saying, you know, I know that you're hiding me high. He didn't say you're hiding, but he said, I know you're going to be bringing up Obama all night, things like that. So I thought that was pretty funny. I was actually pretty surprised that he did not bring up that noise canceling machine that she used at that Denver, Colorado fundraiser. And for those of you guys who don't know, you may not be familiar with the story, basically Hillary Clinton was giving a private speech at a private property in Denver, Colorado to some Wall Street corporate interest people. And she, uh, or I guess they were like bankers or something like that. And there were journalists and reporters there who were trying to listen to what she was saying. And she pointed a news, a noise canceling machine that like made this like fuzzy noise sound. So you couldn't really hear what they were saying. And so nobody was able to hear what she was telling those people behind closed doors. And I was actually really surprised Bernie Sanders did not bring that up. But given the fact that he's a really nice guy, I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. And uh, I mean, like I said, it was just a great performance for Bernie Sanders. Probably one of his greatest debate performances in his life. I thought he did a really excellent job. I thought he was really concise in his answers, uh, with the exception of the gun lobby questions about whether or not gun manufacturers should be able to be sued. Other than that, he was perfect, 9.5 out of 10 for sure. Now, it'll be interesting to see how this affects the New York primary, which is coming up on Tuesday, which I'll probably be doing a video on, not 100% sure, but uh, definitely leaning towards doing one. And uh, so it'll be, he, he's trailing, I believe, by like seven points in the latest poll, something like that. So it'll be interesting to see how this affects uh, that going forward. I think Hillary Clinton was definitely trying to sit on that lead. Uh, similar to what you saw Donald Trump do, last month at that Florida uh, debate that they had. But it's cool to see how Bernie is definitely getting a lot more comfortable with debating Hillary Clinton on these big stages, a lot more comfortable than he was in, say, October when they had the debate with Webb and O'Malley and he and Clinton on stage. He's a lot more confident in his answers, and he's got a lot more support behind him now uh, with that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the, the debate, it was really exciting debate. I thought it was really well moderated. I thought that the questions were pretty good. I thought there could have been a few more questions on foreign policy, but definitely I think they, the first half was definitely more suited to Bernie Sanders, and he got off to a really good start uh, with those. And uh, so, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more political coverage 2016. I'm also going to be updating the playlist to make it a lot easier for you guys to be able to access the videos. So if you're subscribed to the channel to watch political coverage and things like that, I'll, uh, I'll be making it so you can check so you can get those videos a lot easier than you're getting now by having to like go through my channel. I haven't updated them in a while. So I apologize for that. 
Also, I'll be posting some links in the description where you can check out some polling information uh, for the New York primary for the Democratic side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video, guys. I'm out.